We are here at Loftus Fairsfelt in Pretoria for the 93rd meeting between the Springboks and the Wallabies in the opening match of the Castle Lager Rugby Championship. Wonderful read from Jean Twain that time, but Alan Alatoa was quick to pounce on a loose bouncing ball away by White for Cooper and Iketau. Wonderful hands for it's a right and then Colin Betty. And Colin Betty into the corner. Wallabies strike first in Pretoria. Coron Bete with a sixth try against the Springboks. He scored three in his last three against South Africa. Now four in four. Right up to the short side. LaRue with a cover for Moody. Steps inside one. Kits off getting front football for South Africa here. And plenty over on the left. Mbonambi. Tops the ball out of the back. Lost backwards. Esther Hazen for Kirkley Arantzer, who will stroll in. Fantastic try from the Springboks. That pass from Villaluru. We'll absolute magic to put Moody in the space. Once the box had breached the line oh. here, with the pass out wide to the finish. Kirkley Arantzer, fantastic try from the Springboks. Some acrobatics from Marvin Ori. And then uh, from starting from Bonambi and Orenza! Make it a double! Loftus erupts! Kirk Lee Orenza has two. They've got a penalty advantage to play with now. White, Cooper. And uh, Hooper collects on the bounce. That's early, that's a bit early, that should have been play on. Well, I think Ben O'Keefe is saying yeah. it was a forward okay. pass in there. This one from more than 65 on the angle, and it hasn't quite got enough. Andre Esterhazen is the man to kick the ball into touch to bring an end to the first half. South Africa 17, Australia 5. Quick ball for Reinock after the carry from Umbunambi, Lubok trying to pop Andre Esterhazen into the half gap, here's to Toy, just unable to free his arms in the tackle, but another quick ruck for Rana, and um, and Orenza! So the try stands and Kirk Lee Aronson continues his quite extraordinary try and scoring exploit. And straight into the action with a line up take and a massive South African drive. We just want to make sure that two gold didn't collapse them all before them before the mall actually went over the line, please. So Pariki so two pulls it right down, at the back in front right, of Koro Two Betty. pulls it down before the goal line, okay? He's actually the one under that calls the held up. So for me, it'll be a yellow card on Pariki Tri. That's the one. Two. Agree, happy with that. BP, happy with that? I am. So number two, James, he's at the back of the mall. He's pulled that mall down before it's crossed the goal line. He's the man that's under the ball, causes it to be held up. So it's a yellow card for the infringement. And he stopped the problem with so Pariki Tri. Well, it is in David Parecki. There comes the surge from the Springbok scrum, and Williams. Was there a hand in there from a Wallaby? Lubbock and Esther Hazen taking on the tackle of McDermott. And they're calling a deliberate knockdown, though, with, with the try line beckoning. So this might be another yellow card. We got a penalty for a deliberate knock on. So within five minutes from the goal line, he clearly hasn't gone for the ball to grasp it because his arms out, his foot's out. It's the last line of his defense to stop the probable try. It's a yellow card and a penalty try. Williams. Just bashing away at this Wallaby line. Evan Ruiz with another carry. Williams goes short side again. Thomas to Toy. And then Peter Steff to Toy. Well, he's had a couple of goes at the line. 
Siren has sounded at Loftus Fairsfeld. Gordon puts it onto the boot for Korombete. And Gordon gets it back. This could be a try on debut for Carter. Gordon, and it will be something for the 22-year-old to celebrate. Carter Gordon on debut. Carter Gordon on debut gets a try which he himself converts but it is the perfect start to the Castle Lager Rugby Championship for Jacques Nienaber, Dwayne Vermeulen, captain on the day full-time at Loftus Fairsfeld in Pretoria it's South Africa 43